Many of the attributes of this 9,200 acre park have remained unchanged over the last century. But one thing has changed dramatically, and that is the quality of the water of the Schuylkill River. This interceptor sewer to my right uh, was the first part of many parts of uh, preservation of taking the storm water, separating it from the sewage so that the river could stay clean. The sewer line runs one mile from this point down towards Philadelphia and another two and a half miles upstream. And what we did to protect these wonderful line of trees with their leaves of gold, we actually moved the intended location of the sewer to the other side of the street. To get through that rock was incredibly expensive, several times more expensive than what it would have cost to build it where it was easy to build along the tree line or close to the trees. And what you have is a more expensive line, but what you've done is you've preserved trees that have been standing here for probably close to 80 or 90 years, and um, something that we're quite proud of. Constructed in 1957, this beautiful memorial park within what ha arguably has to be one of the finest parks in all of America, Fairmount Park, we provided a wonderful backdrop for this art uh, and the trees and uh, it's just a place that has become a destination point for weddings and communions and uh, all kinds of folks uh, 12 months a year. It's a beautiful spot. Thanks to projects like the Interceptor Sewer, some things have changed dramatically. With the severe runoff, uh, with the population building, uh, stormwater would blend with the sewage water and would offer flow into the Schuylkill River. And this river to my right uh, was uh, unfishable and certainly unswimmable. Uh, but over the years that has changed and today it is the place for fishermen, uh, for boaters, rowers and occasionally a triathlon or two.